Well, our top story this half hour, how California homeowners are preparing for what's expected to be a very wet and dangerous winter. The cause is one of the strongest El Nino events on record and exceptional warming of the Pacific Ocean off South America. That's likely to bring significant rain to a large part of the United States. That means wetter than average conditions from central and southern California across Texas to Florida and up the east coast to southern New England. Southeastern Alaska is also in line for a good soaking. Ben Tracy looks at preparations in Southern California. When it comes down, it's not going to stop. Ed Heinlein is getting ready to battle this, the 850-foot mountain behind his home in Azusa, California. He's built steel-reinforced impact walls to slow down mudslides, a giant holding pen for mud, and installed cameras so he can see it coming. When it comes down, it's like a freight train, and it hits the house right there. If you do not stop the building mud flow, it will implode the house or knock it to the street out there. This is what his backyard looked like last year after a light rainstorm. Yesterday's debris flows were a preview of what's expected to be a wild winter thanks to El Nino. Record warm Pacific Ocean water is likely to fuel large storms. Mudslides could be massive because wildfires and drought have killed the vegetation that holds hillsides in place. John Thornton of the U.S. Forest Service showed us that charred soil won't absorb water. Rain will simply flow downhill. How long has that water just sat there? Well, now it's probably about 15 minutes. Giant debris basins have been cleaned out to collect mud, but nearly 1,000 homes in nearby Glendora are still threatened. City engineer Jerry Burke. What is the level of concern now? The slopes are very steep, so we are really concerned that if we got that torrential downpour that didn't stop, we could see large debris flows. That's why Ed Heinlein has spent nearly $100,000 to protect his house. Why not just call it a day and move? Well, who would buy this piece of property? Who's going to move in here? We'd lose everything. But he knows he may still lose everything by staying. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy, Azusa, California.